Hi there, Mojo Dallas. Here with a, an update on the Posers Unreal Portal software I'm building. This is for Sprint 1.7. And Sprint 1.7 uh, had a couple focus areas. The first focus area was to go ahead and update the uh, uh, software uh, underlying both uh, Unreal Engine and Poser. I'm using Poser 11 now which allowed me to go ahead and uh, bring in some new characters, amongst other things. And I'm also using Unreal Engine 10.4. Uh, so, that, uh, that helped quite a bit in terms of uh, getting things. 10.2, uh, I'm sorry. The um, main things I brought up from Poser 11 again were the new characters. So if we look down here at the new characters, I have Paul and Pauline. Uh, Paul, uh, character, they're a little bit bigger than the, the other uh, normal characters. There's Paul and Pauline. Again, new characters associated with uh, the uh, software. So if we go ahead and take a look uh, go ahead and go back to Ryan. You saw that the characters are a little bit taller. Uh, the things we'll go ahead and look at here uh, uh, is the second focus area. The second focus area, I did I did go ahead and work on the Poser Event Center. First thing I did, as you can see, I went ahead and put a lot of accent lighting around, which took a little bit of time, but make it look, look better, be able to walk around, uh, see things better. So if we go into the uh, uh, Event Center, the Photo Studio is a primary focus uh, of, of the second week of the sprint. And the fo Photo Studio, the theory here was I wanted something to make a kind of a poser experience to be able to pose things, uh, take pictures, and so on. So if, if we, you get to the poser uh, um, photo studio, uh, or to the photo studio set up inside of an Unreal Engine, by just selecting the uh, Photo Studio Setup uh, camera. And what that does is is gives you the, um, it places a character, first thing it does is places your, your current character and places it in a position where it is centered uh, on a, a pose platform for uh, for taking pictures. And the, the lights that are uh, are used are a three-point lighting system of a key light, a fill light, and a backlight. And the camera uh, as well can be moved and focused and all the camera options associated with it. And you can actually move the figure a little bit uh, 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 in uh, all three directions, X, Y, Z, and also rotate it uh, in order to get a, a better pose for your camera. So you select a pose and you can, you can move the character around inside of that pose. Uh, the the first thing you, you can't see much here, as you see right now, is it's just small lights are focused on it. Those three lights are really tightly focused, and I do this in, in the initial, uh, bring it in to make sure your looks like your your uh, light or, or person is focused uh, in the middle of the, the lights. Now if I go ahead and you know bring up one of the lights by, by bringing up the the outer cone of the uh, key light, you, you can, can see that he's sitting there in the middle. The you can go ahead and the key lights, the fill lights, back lights, all are controlled uh, by these controls. You can go ahead and, you know, zoom the, the key light in here. And I see it's getting closer to this face. And you can actually see the key light there. If you, I don't know if you can really see it. I'll bring up the fill light a little bit so you can just to bring up to see there's a light. Now you can hide that light if you don't want it. I'm going to take the picture if you wanted to bring them up close. Or you can get them out of the, the frame here by zooming them back out. Um, so... That's what that was for. Uh, let me go ahead and zoom the camera, which can be zoomed the same way. You know, move him camera out. You can see the lights. Uh, I've got the fill light here. The fill light isn't really orbited. I'll go ahead and move the fill light, uh, you know, around to this side, and you know, bring him down in intensity. It's a little ridiculously bright. Um, I can move, the, as you can see. I just wanted to show here that you can actually orbit the cameras around. There I'm doing it now for the the, the 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 key light, the fill light, and then the back lights, of course, behind him right now. Um, if I move, if I can rotate the camera, you can see there's a backlight. 
Now, so there's the three lights set up. They can they can also orbit uh, up and down, for example. And see how they all orbit around the or basically the character standing. And if you want to move the character to maybe make him, let's say move him back a little, you know, you can go ahead and move the character as well, just to get him maybe uh, framed up more. Uh, it's switched to the um, camera. It switches to the camera automatically to start with, but you can on switch them. You can switch them back out to a to <laughs> just as normal uh, camera. But let's switch it back to the photo studio camera. So you can go ahead and you can orbit the camera or lights, uh, the fill lights, the back lights, and so on. I set their intensity. Uh, you know, that's ridiculously high. Um, change the colors of the lights. Uh, s change how far the light actually. Uh, propagates and so you, you can go ahead and so it d doesn't affect let's say it can affect the character but not affect the uh, back wall uh, and set the inner and outer cones uh, 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 spotlights and that's how you get uh, sharp versus uh, soft uh, uh, lighting effects uh, by, by doing that the other thing is of course in the camera settings all the camera settings I put in uh, earlier you can you know increase the saturation for example you want to something that's, you know, you know, way up. Looks pretty funny there. Or way down, making black and white. And, and and with these kind of things, you can always just plug in the number, too. You don't have to go ahead and use the, use the uh, um, slider. So if I'll go ahead and move them closer. And let's say hide the lights. Hide the backlight, anyway. So there you see him, uh, and maybe move the camera around so it's got a little bit better angle. And you go ahead, and, and, if, and you can go ahead and close the menu and just take a snapshot, or you can leave the menu open, and it won't actually show up in the snapshot. Neither does uh, so the any any menu. Either does the menu on the right hand side. It never shows up when you take a snapshot. You can change all the different things. You can set like a vignette up higher, so you can go ahead and just you know get them down to what you want to go see. And I'll show you an example here. I've got a fill light, for example, with the, with the cones here. If I went ahead and s soften that fill light, I'll soften the fill light, and you should be able to see the. Yeah, you can see it kind of go away. The fill light's still there, but it's not that sharp. It's not that sharp, focused uh, area in the background. So, anyway, the point is you can go ahead and, again, move the camera maybe a little bit this way. You can get, you know, uh, portraits. I mean, it's not posers, it's not meant to be. Uh, this is an little poser character, and he's moving here. And I could have, I could have, you know, put him into a uh, a pose that was uh, uh, frozen, so he wasn't actually moving here. I mean, I'm just using the default idle pose right here to take the picture. The other thing you can do is is uh, I made it so you can set up presets, and I I put in, for example, a set of presets that are associated with uh, normal po por portraiture uh, photography. So. Um, we saw a default, but, you know, I had the Rembrandt in there. But, I mean, Rembrandt in here, so if you look at Rembrandt, it's a slightly different uh, uh, lighting setup. You know, and maybe I can move him in here a little bit more even to, you know, I wanted to take this picture. So, that was uh, the um, photo studio. And the theory here is that the photo studio was... was Again, uh, it, it's a good starter for me to be able to maybe now concentrate too on maybe making the characters look a little bit better with the shaders and stuff that are coming, that come in from Poser but need to be uh, tweaked, uh, you know. And it was uh, harder to do that with just freestanding cameras and lights. This will give me a much more easy way to control that and make them look a little bit better. Uh, and also, uh, the thought here too is that right now it's just just this room you walk into and 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 it, and it uh, makes it aware. You're this r in the room is aware that uh, you want to use the photo studio, uh, and so if you click on the photo studio setup, it goes ahead and you know places a character right there on that platform inside of this room. Now there's nothing that'll stop me, and I'll probably in a later release go ahead and make that actual pose platform something that you'll be in inventory, and you can just you know really plop it anywhere uh, when you're when you're playing the game, and that will become where the photo studio is. So it can, you, you'll be able to go ahead and take. Uh, movies or photographs uh, uh, with the lighting setup uh, 
a much more controlled environment anywhere in, in any environment rather than just inside of a room. So that's what I've got. Uh, this one it took quite a bit of time, way more than I thought it would. Uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, logic associated with uh, making the rotating uh, lights and the rotating camera uh, and uh, also adding the presets. So that's what I've got. Uh, uh, the main uh, focus this uh, this last sprint. Uh, thanks for watching.